Hey everyone, Ryan Cavalieri here. Today we have the all new S-Works S354 e-buggy. I want to go over some of the details that they have updated and take you underneath the hood, but let's first start off with the body. This isn't included in the kit, but it's designed by Beta Designs for the S-Works buggies. It's a perfect drop finish. All you have to do is pop in one hole for the antenna tube. This body is really good for this car. It has good steering and it's really stable to drive. A lot of the team has been using this body and I think it's a really popular body at the moment. The first thing up that I'm gonna talk about that S-Works has updated are their shock towers and their shocks. S-Works lower the CG by making their shock towers lower and their shocks slightly smaller. They've also made a new bladder for the emulsion and their shock boots are quite a bit thinner, so it has a lot less resistance, and the shock rod ends are a lot stronger. They've also updated their springs to match with the smaller shocks. The next thing up are their A-arms. They have updated all the A-arms, and they're quite a bit stronger, and you can kind of see that they are a little bit more square, so they just added a lot more material all the way around. All the lower pill adjustments are the same. They're a square insert now, so you can flip flop them from front to rear. In the rear end, we have now an adjustable rear hub. Before we could only run down, and now you can run up. So this just makes the car a little bit more stable, especially just on tracks that have a little bit more traction. Um, you just need that little bit extra rear end support without needing to go up and bar. Just raising the hub, was a quick adjustment that I did recently, and it really helped the way that I like to drive my car. They have also updated their wing and the wing mount. Now it's a one piece wing that you can adjust up and down to make whatever adjustment you would like. Now that we have the body off, there are a few more updates that S-Works has done to their e-buggy. They have redesigned their servo tray so the servo can sit upright. This allowed them to redesign the steering configuration. The Ackerman and the Ackerman plates have all been updated. So now the e-buggy and the Nitro car share the same exact parts. Their chassis stiffener runs through the center of the e-buggy. This really helps with flex and drivability. They have updated their motor clamping mount. So now the motor can slide in and out very easy and to be adjusted. S-Works has also changed the coating of their chassis to be hard to anodize. They also updated where you could run the balance weight. Now you can run it in the front and the rear. Their differentials are all updated. And there's a lot of things that I didn't touch on that are updated. So if you want to go check it out, look up S-Works, see what they're all about. Now that that's all done, I want to take you through my power plant and kind of share what powers this car and what makes it go. Now over here are my much more electronics and my Savox servos. These are the items that I currently have in my buggy right now. So let me run you down the list what makes this thing go. In this box, I have the Sanwa RX472 receiver. I have the Savox SB2290 servo. I have the much more speed control. It's the Fleeta N8 V2. I have the much more motor. It is the Fleeta ZX8. 1900 kV and I have the much more battery the impact 6500 and what makes this car go round and round are the raw speed stage 2 tires in clay compound I have raw speed foam and wheels so thanks everyone for watching stay tuned for more videos to come